Okay, so I've got my three coats of base coat down, put my tech coat on, it's all looking quite nice, but wouldn't you fucking know it, goddamn fryer. That's that old fucking shit paint underneath, that red, which I really should have paint stripped it off. I've spent so much fucking time and effort on this car, and to have shit like that happen fucking pisses me off. And then when you know it, a fucking gun drip through here. Fuck's sake. It's Saturday afternoon, I wanna fucking go home. And shit like this happens. Fucking never ending, isn't it? Anyway, there's Gunman's little dummy spit for the day. Apart from that, it's going okay. Oh, here we go. The red rear doors again. Another fry up. Fuck's sake. Must have used some shitty acrylic paint on them. Fucking gun drips. It's not exactly a warm day, so that's gonna take a long time to dry out. I'm just gonna let it flash off. Let's see if we can fix this fucking fryer. Do all my fucking head in. Alright, it's got a bit of 500 grit, soft back sanding sponge, and I'll see if I can just scuff the top off it and dust a few coats of base coat back over it. I'm not holding my breath, I'm not. Won't be surprised if it just keeps frying up. But if I can improve it, and then hopefully some clear can seal it down, and I'll just be able to redo that one section next week. The right way to do it really is to take all the paint off. I'm not really in the mood to do on my Saturday afternoon. I want to get home and edit some more videos for my main channel. Yeah, I know, most people get stuck into the beers on Saturday afternoon, but not me anymore. Bit of a loose cannon on the piss. Don't know when to stop, so staying off it these days. Nobody said doing up cars, especially old ones, was easy. And this is definitely no exception. I should have, in hindsight, paint stripped the entire panels, but it turns into a major when the car's your daily driver and you want it off the road for as least amount of time. You don't really want to go and paint strip the entire car and have it off the road for a month. So it's not perfect, but see if we can dust some base coat on there. We'll give it a get quick tack rag first. I've done the same thing on the other side. Those little gun drips are barely noticeable anymore. You can just see them, but see what they look like with a bit of clear over them. We might just be able to run with it. I'm real light so that the solvents can't aggravate that old paint again but that's definitely a big improvement from what we had just light coat and dry it off straight away you know what I might even just about live with that for below the door molds There you go, one job saved. Down where the dogs piss, as they say.
No, I'm gonna live with that. I'm gonna make some clear up and clear over it. Beautiful. Bit of good news for us. I'll dust a bit more base coat over these gun drips. very hard to find a good set of these body moulds, they don't make them anymore. Very hard to come by. But I managed to scrounge up a set. Had a few repairs, the corner of this one was all chewed out and gone. Was it this one? Yep, there's my repairs underneath with some fiberglass filler. I made sure it fits on the door and I'm quite happy with how they're coming up. Let's get some clear coat on them. So there we go, those fry ups or all cleared up and you can still see them a little bit but even if I was to redo it on Monday or whenever that's at least going to seal it down that coated two-pack clear should hopefully seal it down now I know there's an issue there I could just dust a couple more coats over it and you wouldn't be able to see it anymore over the other side Similar thing. Can say it a touch, but I'm going to live with that. The reason I was even doing this is because there's a few dents down here that were going to be covered by big door panels, which turned out a full sill cover and the door panels were never going to fit properly, they were just way too far gone. Whoever made the fiberglass was pretty crap at it. So, change of plans, putting these sill covers on and just standard door moulds. There's that um, little gun drip. Can't see it, so I might, might do it on Monday. See what it looks like out in the sun. I'm not one to polish my ball joints. Don't get too fussy about my cars, I just like to make a nice mean off the gun finish. There you go.